Good evening, comrades. I'm the King of back with part two of Unholy Realms: Brutal Russian Overkill, Episode 48. Now, before going any further, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm loving Injustice 2. Like, I already told I'm maining Red Hood. He, he's my man. <laughs> uh, still, I try to get some of the combos down, but uh, he's my main character now. I saw I tried the other characters like uh, Sub Zero, Raiden. And of course, the base characters. I'm still waiting for Hellboy. Apparently, he's out on consoles, but not quite out on PC yet. He'll take some time, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to play through the story, but I'm also playing the multiverse. Well, like, uh, um, basically, in Injustice 2, there's this gear system where you get, like, a uh, like, gear for your characters and increase your attributes, like strength and, you know, defense and stuff like that and have like special uh, abilities and stuff it's mainly for multiverse none of that stuff affected uh, none of that stuff affects multiplayer or online or anything like that so no need to worry about those giving you an unfair advantage the stats are purely for the multiverse and it's pretty funny basically go through alternate earths and you fight different heroes villains in those earths you put like challenges and stuff and you get like uh Loot boxes. I'm trying to get some gear for Red Hood. I've given a lot of stuff for the other characters, but I only got like what two things for Red Hood. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing that game. It's fun. It was definitely worth the wait for it to come to PC. And it's not a broken port like Mortal Kombat X was on the PC. Granted, it's a lot better now, and it actually plays good. It does it actually good right from the start, though. I did have one minor CTD. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. You know, that's something you gotta expect with PC games. Yes, they went a lot better, but that doesn't mean they went perfect on PC. You get the occasional bug here and there and whatnot. I'm curious what the modding scene of that game's gonna be like. But I don't know, there's plenty of customization content in the game that I don't... I think I'd be okay with it even without mods. But you know, it's only a matter of time, for sure. It's kind of pointless to get the health so I get myself god mode. Yeah, still playing getting the Call of Duty War chest later on, just not the moment. I'm having too much fun with Injustice 2. I'm having too much fun in a fighting game since Skullgirls. But a while since I fired that up. I fired that up sometime too. Even though I already unlocked everything, I still fire it up every now and again. Right now Injustice 2, oh man. Definitely worth the wait. Okay, so red key door. I don't call. Oh, okay, it's gonna be out there. Here it is. <laughs> I like how the blood flow is just like a just a separate floor texture. Okay, we got a spider mask by. It's only map six, by the way. Trout and Injustice 2. Maybe Blue Beetle. Yeah, again, the pitches for the sounds are different, but hey. Doesn't affect the water any. I, mean, I do kind of like this font here. It's pretty cool. Passage Underground. Yeah, new intro. You've cleaned out the factory, but more trouble is in front of you. Hell, you've been through this before. 
You know where this sewer leads. After all, UAC stationed you here long ago. The material section is rife with the stench, the smell of death here is thicker than ever before. Sure, what you left behind was dangerous, but more of the same lies ahead. More death. It's a way in a way, it's a homecoming. Sure is. For Doom Slayer, this would be just another walk in the park for him. Yeah, I mentioned this in uh, the previous video. Um, I'm probably not going to upload next week because I'm going to be busy with work, you know, trying to relax. Playing other games. It's definitely Injustice 2, of course. But, uh. Since I'm probably uploading next week, I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. And I hope where you work, it's not as crazy as fuck. Because where work is going to be hell on earth. But you know, I did it before, I can do it again. Do I need a key for this? No, I don't. But I probably need to flip the switch. Anyone here? Okay. Did. Is something supposed to open in here? This is going to be a pretty decent wad. I like the design and the layout. It's not too confusing. I don't know why the pitches of the voice is different, but... Eh. Again, doesn't affect the wad any. Playing the multiverse stuff till I get a get a sweet a gear set for Red Hood. Or well, at least some gear that just makes them look cool. Because again, the uh, stats are mainly for the multiverse. Uh, Doesn't make the sort of, uh, fights a little easier to go through. That's where I came from. Wait, is it? No. Backpack. Alright. Exactly what I need. Again, normally I don't buy games on day one. Again, No Man's Sky, good example. But, you know what? I played through Injustice. It's such a... It's a pretty good port. Especially considering, you know, W... Warner Brothers games uh, doesn't exactly have a good track record when it comes to PC ports. Just look at Batman Arkham Knight if you need any uh, proof of that. But yeah, uh, this too is a pretty good port. I'm surprised how good of a port it is. In a way, it kind of redeems. Uh, WB games for errors in the past. Kinda of redeems them. What's 
What's up here? Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. That was the actual entrance. Okay, still a bunch of monsters to kill. Yeah, but I had a feeling they'd be over there. I'm just gonna give a little meteor shower. Still a bunch of monsters left, but oh well. Research complex beta. I've got Excalibat, good. And of course, we're already in some hellish territory here. Maybe that's not reserved for the second half. Oh, wow, but hey. I'm just gonna scout the storm place. Got a decent amount of ammo. Time to whip out Swarzerswag again. Because why not? Comrade, we already have one. Right now. Yeah, we're too much ammo. I don't know why. Usually these wads, I usually expect a. Uh, Dead simple style map on map seven, but we're already on map eight. Okay, let's go up here real quick. Hey, yeah, by the way, Injustice 2 runs pretty smoothly on my PC. I have an i5 6600K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. And I have a 960 super clocked from EVGA. Yeah, it runs pretty good, though I had to turn the settings just a little bit, because uh, some of the uh, some of the levels, like a lot of stuff going on in the background, it kind of slowed down the uh, the game a great deal. So I had to, I used the uh, GeForce experience to you know. Uh, Get the uh, pfft. graphical things have more playable uh, experience. Okay, I'm pretty sure this isn't how I'm supposed to get the key, but oh well. Okay, so. That's how it works out.
figure is their third I'll let it's that easy. I was gonna get into these doors. Again, I still don't know why the monster pitches are different. Oh yeah, I already flipped that switch. So I think that opened the exit. Alright. Now for Metallic Bloodline. Yeah, again, uh, I don't really like the design of these maps. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, because there are other wads out there, but it's actually it's pretty good for this time. I think it was... I actually don't remember when this wad was made. It was made like... Let me check the readme real quick. Give me a minute. Okay, yeah, this wad was made back in 2013. November 2013. So yeah, it's a fairly recent wad. And yeah. I was impressed with the design here. Doom mapping has certainly come a long way, hasn't it? Okay, here, Red Key for that. Down here. Of course, I'm going to go down here. Give me the teleporter. Okay, this thing's back over here. Backpack. And key. Music's pretty decent too. Kind of fits with the atmosphere of this squad. yellow key door and a red key door. I don't recall seeing a blue key door though. Ah, here it is. It's bars. that. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let me make sure it's uh, recording still. Yeah, it's recording. It's just, uh. I don't see the recording window on there for some reason. Huh. 
But it's recording, so yeah. I have played a little bit of the first Injustice lately, um... I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Injustice as much as I did Mortal Kombat, but it's still a good fighting game. The second one, though, even better. Improves the original in so many ways. I do I already have one, though. In fact, let's go ahead and... Let's run some energy weapons this time. Here are Mr. Romero. Sorry, I can't pull you up right now. for pre-mortem. Map 10. Decent, some decent progress, you know. I don't expect a speed run this. I don't speed run. I just play at my own pace. <coughs> if you're looking for someone speed running watch, you're definitely on the wrong channel. yet. Okay. What's over here? Now yeah, we'll be checking the footage, make sure it's actually recording, because I don't see the recording window, but I had the bandit cam thing on. It is recording. I just gotta make sure, I'm gonna check the video before I upload it, just to make sure. Thanks, let's go down here just yet. Yeah, I definitely can't go down here just yet. Okay, now we're down here. Now I'm just trying to, like, focus. If you are planning on getting a uh, Injustice 2, uh, definitely go for the Ultimate Edition. You'll definitely save on money on, money on the DLC, as opposed to buying it all separately. And if you are going to get it, you might as well get it off Fanatical. It should save like $12. Okay, so I'm not sure what these switches did. Hm. Okay. Yeah, I still need keys for that. Why a door open? Wait, I've already been here. Okay. Never mind. Let's 
go up here. Maybe something opened up here and I wasn't aware of it. I'm not here yet. What I have. But I'm probably not gonna play Justice 2 online. Uh, as far as fighting games go, no matter what it is, I suck at it. So uh, I doubt that's gonna translate very well in online play. I, I might do it just for shits and giggles, but don't expect me to be a competitive player anytime soon. It will be a pain. It's dark in here for some reason. So I got the yellow key, uh... The yellow key to over here. out here. Get red key over there. Okay, it's back over here. Is that like a switch or something? Yeah. Well, I know where I need to go to get the blue key, but... Okay, I can go here now. I haven't seen that many barrels. Oh, what is that? I think that opened the door finally. There we go. How many monsters left? Okay. Still a decent amount of monsters left. I think we can the boss we go. So we got the blue key. Well, we go open the blue gates, but we still have the... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, they're already open. So they're not open. I still need the red key, though. So I can't go out there just yet. I'm trying to look... Stop looking for a red key. <laughs> Is it over here? I guess so. Usually there's a door that thin, you should just keep it. Yep, there we go. My hunch was correct. So now we can get out of here. Weird, I got the keys, but I didn't have to press any switches to open those gates. So that's pretty weird. So for once, see, you, you get the keys, you don't have to flip a switch or anything. Once you grab the key, whatever is locked is open for you. That's a touch. Just run across. Yep. Alright, let's go. Cool. For death. All right, I'm actually going to end this video here. I'll have another video tonight, but as I said before, um, I won't be uploading next week because I'm busy with work and to be spending time with the family and enjoying Thanksgiving and whatnot. So I'll definitely have a video up later on the week after, though. 
but I have one more video up today, and then that'll be it for a while. So, this is part two of Brutal Russian Overkill, episode 48. This is Unholy Realms, and this is Evan Kevin Caleb, signing out.